Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 6 of Rosetta. Rosetta is the Scheepjes Cal 2019, designed by Tatiana from Lillebjorn Crochet. In part 6 we're going to be extending our mandala with the pattern that's here on the outside, so this detailed pattern. We're going to be extending that because we've already started it in the previous rounds. I have an Our Tribe kit, so I'm using Scheepjes Our Tribe yarn with a 3.5mm hook. If you have a colour crafter kit you'll be using a 4mm hook. So I'll take you step by step through all the rounds that make up part 6. But I thank you for watching, hope it's a useful video for you. Round 53, this round you're going to work in yarn B, no matter which kit you have. So you have yarn B on your hook. Start with the chain 1 and then we're going to work on the right side facing. Start with three double crochets, so this is the start of the repeat unit and that first double is in the last stitch worked. I've just marked that last stitch work there. I'm going to take the stitch marker out. So in this last stitch worked from the previous round, so that's three doubles. Two. three double crochets. We're now going to work a front post double treble two together and we're going to come back and work it around this second post. So you see those two we're going to work it around that second post. Twice over, around the post, pick up, one, two, and then make a second leg and around the same post One, two, and take them all off. Now you can do it this way, or you can make that second one just like you did with the modified bobble she did here. So that second leg, make it in the base here of the first. That will make your work just a little neater. and then take it off. Skipping one stitch to the back, so we're skipping a stitch to the back and then we're going to do the same, so again three double crochets, so we do exactly the same as we did there, so repeat, so that's one, two, three doubles and now again going to work a front post double treble two together, but this time coming forward here to this first of the next two posts. So that one there. So twice over. Take off two loops. Take off two. And twice over. I'm going to work it into the base of that last leg. Take off two, take off two, take them all off. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back. So I'm going to skip one stitch and then work four double crochets. Two, three, and four. And these four doubles are like a bit of a go-between between this repeat unit, because this repeat unit we're now going to do again. And we're going to do that five times. So this little bit we did here, so the three doubles and then the front post stitch, and the three doubles and the front post stitch, that's one unit. We're going to do that a few more times. So here we did it twice, we're now going to do it five times. So we're going to work five more of these front post stitches. So twice over, then around the first, that leg there. One, two, twice over, and I'm going to work it in the base here. One, two, three loops on your hook take it off. 
I have to skip a stitch to the back and the next stitch is a marked stitch. All of these marked stitches you're going to skip. So if you're at a point where you need to work into a marked stitch you know that somewhere something went wrong with your stitch count. So those are reference points for you. So, if you, so this should always be a skipped stitch. So I'm going to skip that stitch. So behind the front post double treble here. And then the next stitch work the next three doubles. One, two, three double crochets. So now I've worked the little unit once. I'm going to do four more. So here the front post double treble and the three doubles. So here comes number two. Here's two. Skip a stitch to the back. I work three doubles. One, two, three. Then again, twice over. The next post here. Off. Skip a stitch to the back and so one, two, three. So I've now worked three, so I need two more. I just got my yarn A wrapped up here on my hook. You can just leave that to the side, you don't need yarn A for this round. And two, take everything off, skip one stitch to the back, and three doubles. Two, three. I'm just going to move everything up a bit. And now I need to do my last repeat, if I recall correctly. Those were the those were the first two, then we worked four doubles here, and then we work one, two, three, four. Yes, I need one more. So if it's easy for you, you can, for example, just mark these four doubles that you always see where they are because they're a good counting point. So I've got the three, so that's one, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four, five. No, I've actually worked them perfectly. Now here was the four. See, you really need to keep track of your counts in this round. So here's the four doubles. That's one, two, three, four times. Yes, I need to work one more. You really need to keep track of counting in this round. And that's also why it's so easy that you've got those marked stitches. So that they're just reference points for you. And the moment you're not skipping a marked stitch but you're working into it, then you know you've got your counts off somewhere. Skipping a stitch to the back and then work three doubles. There we go. So now I've worked that little unit five times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five times. So here are the four doubles. Now we need to work one more of these front post stitches. Twice over. Front post double two together. It's one, and then two. Take that all off and skipping one stitch below. I'm sorry, we skip one stitch below. That's going to be the next stitch, and then in the stitch after we work, and this. This double crochet here is exactly the same one as the one very first one we worked. That's that one there. So you've got those three, and this one is the first of those three. So you're now going to work three doubles. Two, three. 
And then you're going to start the repeat unit again. So here you're going to work the front post double treble, two together, you're going to work three more, then the front post double treble, and then you're going to be working four doubles. Four doubles. And here you see your next marked stitch. So every time you get to this marked stitch area, you're going to be having roughly those four double crochets. So keep checking with this marked stitch. So everything we've just done that I've showed you here, that I, I tried not to get you too confused. But you really just need to keep track of where those four doubles are and all other places you have three doubles in between. So go all the way around. And when you're here, you're going to be working your last time that you're going to be working three doubles. Work your last front post double treble, two together, it's going to be around here. And then close on your first stitch, that's going to be that double crochet there. And then you change to yarn A. Round 54, you have the wrong side of your work facing, and your color is color A that's on your hook right now. Good to start with a chain 2. This is not a stitch, as always. And then it's going to pull that slip stitch a bit tight. In the first six stitches, so starting in the last stitch of the previous round, we're going to work a treble on each. So that's six treble. That's one, two, three, four, five, and the last one here is six. Now going to start the repeat. In the next stitch, work two trebles. That's one and two. Two trebles. And now quite a stretch, 32 trebles, one in every stitch. So 32 trebles. And then you're ready to, and then you're at the end, then you start the next repeat. So that's again an increase. So what you're going to do, and you're going to have to keep counting here that you have the right number of stitches. So you work an increase, that's two trebles in one stitch, and then work 32 trebles, and then an increase, and then 32 again. Go all the way around. Here on your last repeat, you won't be working the full 32, but only 26 stitches, because you've already worked the first six here. So on your last repeat, work 26 trebles. And then close on that first stitch, so that's going to be in that treble. We're going to close on that stitch and then swap again colors and change to yarn A. Round 55, you have the right side facing, and we're going to be working with color B. Just going to leave color A here to the back. Start with a chain one, and then in the first five stitches, we work a double crochet. So again the first stitch is in the last stitch from the previous round. Remember you've turned. Two, three, four, and five. There we go. We're now going to work a front post double treble four together the same way as we did here. You see these we worked over those posts those four, you worked over those four legs. Now we're going to do the same here. You've got these four legs, and you're going to work the treble four together over those four. So I'm going to yarn over twice for the double treble. And coming down and around that first leg. Take off two, take off two. And again twice over. And come to the second leg. Two, two. Twice over, and now you're going to come to the next set here, these last two. So one, and here's the last two. So you have now four legs, five loops on your hook. Take them all off in one go. Now you can see you've really tucked these these all together. So you've got to frame that little bubble there in the middle. 
skipping one stitch to the back and that's actually two, you just need to skip one stitch work a double and now we can start in the repeat unit so we're going to do eight doubles two, three, four repeat. So we're going to do here the double treble four together, the same as there. So twice over, bend and come around that first stitch, first leg, twice over, around the second leg, twice over, then go to the next set, that's after the bubble, twice over, and the last one here, and take them all off. Mm -hmm. So you've now framed the second one. Skipping one stitch to the back, skipping a stitch, now you're going to work seven doubles, so that's important. Here you've worked eight, now you're going to work seven. That's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There you go, seven doubles. And again, work a double treble four together. So twice over. Around the first stitch, twice over, and around the second leg, twice over, move to the other side, take the first leg, twice over, and the last one. And five loops on your hook, take them all off and skip one stitch to the back, skip a stitch and then that double crochet is exactly the same as this one. So that means you're now going to work again eight doubles and then work a double treble four together and then work seven doubles skipping that stitch to the back. You're going to work this all the way around and you're going to alternate 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7. You're going to keep alternating that between the double trebles four together. So you're going to go all the way around and here after your last double treble four together over those four legs you're going to work only, um, only two double crochets, these last two, and then close on your first stitch there change to color A, that's still dangling here to the back, you can change your color A and at that point you can actually also cut yarn um, yarn B because we're going to be using um, color F later on so if you're at the end of this round you can cut your color B go all the way around, take your time on these front post double trebles and then I'll see you in round 56 Round 56, you have the back of your fabric facing. Start with a chain two. In the first 15 stitches, work a treble. And this is of course, and the first stitch you work in is of course the last stitch from the previous round. So we keep doing that. This is three, continue until you have 15. 15. 15 trebles. Now we start the repeat unit. In the next stitch work two trebles. That's one. Two trebles. And then 33 trebles. And this really means you're going to have to count your stitches. That you have 33 trebles between your increases and that you're going to do all the way around. So after you've got 33 trebles, work an increase again. 
and then at the end after you've done your last increase you'll of course work a few less you'll work only 18 trebles because you've already got the first 15 here so after your last increase work 18 trebles and then close here on this first stitch and then change to yarn F so you're not going to take yarn um, B here because you've already cut that strand you're going to change to yarn F Round 57, you have the right side of your work facing and you have color F on your hook right now. So you've attached a new color. Chain one, which is not a stitch, and then we start the repeat unit immediately. We're going to start by working a double treble four together. That's a bobble, just like these bobbles we've done here before. We're going to be working them again. And we're going to work it between these two sets of pedals here. So right here in the middle we're going to be working that double treble four together. So I'm going to yarn over. So come down. And you want the center stitch. You see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're going to do the center stitch, that one there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. This is the fourth stitch. I'm going to take that stitch. Sometimes you're going to have um, uh, uh, eight stitches, and then we do the fifth. So if it's in, the, so but here it's seven, so we're going to do the fourth, the center one. one two, three, four. So it's around this stitch. Pick up the loop. Take off two. Take off two. And now the next three legs we're going to do here in the base of the stitch. Now this is exactly same as we've done before. So that's one and this is two two, there we go. And this here is three. And take them all off in one go. That's starting loop. There we go. So that's the first bobble we've just worked, the same as these bobbles here. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back and it will be um, that stitch there. You see there's a stitch where we did chain one. So that's the next stitch, that's the one we're going to skip and then the stitch after we work a double crochet. And it's going to be the first of three. One, two, three double crochets. We're now going to work a front post double treble around these first two pedals and that's exactly the same as these ones that we've done down here. So we're going to do that around these four as well. So it's first the first two and then the second two. Twice over for the double treble. Then come below the first two. Grab your yarn. One, two, Three, twice over and come to the next two. It's one, two, three. I'm going to skip two stitches to the back and then work three double crochets again. I'm going to skip two stitches. So make sure you skip two, not accidentally three for example. And then work three doubles. One, two, three. There we go. Now this little unit we need to do this three times and then we're going to because actually you have here these three doubles and you're going to have a lot of those threes and then just at a certain point you're going to have two again. But next up we're going to work another bobble and here we have eight double crochet. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means we're now going to take stitch number five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to take that stitch there. So if you have seven you take the fourth and if you have eight you take the fifth stitch. So that's one and then and now in the base we do the next two sorry, three legs. One and 
two and this is three and take them all off. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back, skip a stitch to the back and then work three doubles again. So one, two, three and now we need to work these front post double trebles, those two, so twice over around the first two two, three, twice over and then around the second two, one, two, three skipping two stitches to the back, work three doubles I'm going to skip two stitches and then work three doubles. One, two, three. Again, so this was the second repeat, this was the first repeat, and now this is the second, so now I need to do this the third time. So twice over, and now again you have here seven double crochets, so you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now you're going to take stitch number four. One, two, and then twice over, and then make three more legs here in the base of the stitch. And that's one, and this is two, and three. Take them all off. Skip a stitch to the back and then work three doubles, skipping a stitch and then work three doubles, that's one, two, three doubles and now again these two front post stitches twice over and the first two and around the second two Skipping two stitches to the back. Okay, you're going to skip two stitches and then work three doubles. One, two, three. There we go. Now I've done this little unit three times. See, one, two, three times. going to work again a double treble four together so we're going to work a bobble stitch here and now you have again eight double crochets so we're going to do this one in number five one two three four five so in that one so I've just finished a small repeat unit but this uh, looks very similar but it's, it's going to be slightly different and we need both of those loops I'm just going to do this again because it's now got snagged. So twice over, take the base of that stitch, there we go. So one, and two, and three and take them all off. Skip a stitch to the back and then work three doubles. One, two, three doubles. Again two front post double travels around these two petals. Twice over. one and two skipping two stitches to the back and now, now comes the difference now we're only going to work two doubles so only two double crochets here 
because that's a big difference. Up to now you've always worked three after these front posts, now you work two. And now you're ready to start all over again. So now you're going to start back here. So now you're going to work a bobble again. So you're going to work three times a series with three double crochets after these posts. So you've done that three times. And then you work one series with only two. So that's going to be your rhythm. If you can look here after the post, it's three, 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 two. And then again, three, 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 two. That's your rhythm. You can go like that all the way around. And here, after you've worked your last two um, post stitches, you're going to have to work your last um, your last uh, uh, double trebles. Going to sorry, not to, you've worked the last two double trebles. Then you work two last double crochets, and then you close here on the first stitch, and that's going to be this stitch here. That's going to be the the bobble stitch. You're going to be closing on that. And then you change back to yarn, where is it, yarn A. You change back to yarn A. So on that bobble stitch you change back with yarn A. Round 58, you have the wrong side facing. And this is going to be one of those background rounds again. Start with the chain 2, which does not count as a stitch. And in the last stitch of the previous round we're going to make one treble. That's that stitch there. It's one treble. And then we're ready to start the repeat unit. The repeat unit is going to be two trebles in the next stitch and then 34 trebles. And you do that all the way round. So two trebles in this stitch. It's two trebles. And then one in every stitch for 34 stitches. And then you do the repeat again. So then you do an increase, two trebles in one stitch, and then 34 trebles. You're going to go all the way around. So two, and then 34. On your last repeat, you'll work the increase, and then of course you'll work 33 trebles because you've already got the last one, or the first one you've already got there. So you work 33 on your last repeat, and then close here on the first stitch. And this stitch here, close, and then change back to color F again. Round 59, you have the right side of your work facing, and with color F, we're going to start chain one. Pull that slip stitch tight. There we go. On the first four stitches, on those four stitches, work a double crochet on each of them. One, two, three, four, four doubles. We're going to work, you've got these two front post stitches, we're going to work a front post double treble around both of them. So that's twice over, then around the first one. One front post, double treble, and then twice over, and then come to the next one. One, two, three. Going to skip two stitches to the back. Skipping two stitches. And then this double is the first of the repeat units. We're going to work seven doubles. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and the last one here, seven. There you go, seven doubles. And now again, two front post double trebles the same as those two. That's twice over. Around the first one. Twice over. And also around the second one. Three. Again, skip two stitches to the back. Skipping two stitches there. And then work a double. 
and this double is the same as that one. So this little unit is going to repeat that all the way around. So you're going to do seven double crochets and then again two front post double travels around these two. You're going to repeat this all the way around. And here at the beginning, or actually well, when you get to the, to the end, when you get here back to where we start, you're going to work two front post double travels around these last two. Skip two stitches and then you've already done four doubles here so you'll work three doubles in those last three stitches and then you close here on the first double that's that one and then you pick up yarn A. If you have a color crafter version at the end of this round you can cut color F. If you have an art tribe version leave this yarn attached we'll be using the same color later on. And 60. Last round of this part you have the back side of your work facing. If you look up the color craft kit you've cut yarn F otherwise you leave it attached like I have because you'll be using it again. With yarn A on your hook start with the chain 2. Now we're going to work a back round round again and the next 32 stitches work a treble. And you want both loops. This is one quite a stretch, gonna work 32, so be sure to count them. That's two, this is three, and I'll make a jump in the video. Four and thirty-two. So that's quite a stretch of stitches. Thirty-two trebles. The next stitch you work an increase. So two trebles in the next stitch. So one and and mark this increase with a stitch marker. It doesn't matter if you take the first or the second stitch, but the point is you want to mark that the increase is here. So you're going to mark all your increases in this round. And then between the increases you have 35 trebles. So it keeps on getting just one more stitch between increases. And now we're at 35, so keep on counting sure that you have the right number of stitches. Work 35 trebles on every stitch and then when you've gone 35 work an increase again and again mark your increase. I'm going to go all the way around and here after you've done your last um, repeat you'll work an increase and then three more trebles in those last stitches in these last three stitches and then close on the first stitch and then change to yarn F if you have an art tribe kit and to yarn G if you have a color crafter kit. And that brings us to the end of part 6 of Rosetta. At this point you have about a 102 centimeter diameter if you have an art tribe and 116 if you have a color crafter kit. I'll see you next week when we'll continue on the pattern of our mandala. Hope to see you then.